Well, my name is Mike Lewin, um, and for many years now I've made various uh, guitars and instruments of all different sorts. <laughs> Yet another different instrument that I quite enjoy making. It's made, again, recycling bits. This is a, a drum shell, just a plywood laminated drum shell. The outer glitzy cover has been taken off, sheet glued to the outside. There is a nice rim uh, already fitted into this one, top and bottom. Uh, it looks like it's a piece of um, beach. I cut this to the height, probably about three inches that I would need. It's a matter of building a neck, using this as the body shape instead of the round tin. But this time I use uh, a resonator cone which I obtained these from the States. Uh, it's a very thin aluminium. This has probably uh, been pressed because of the pattern on it, but sometimes they're put on a lathe and there's actually a very clever process where they're a flat sheet and you use a tool and you actually spin them. That's then supported uh, on a little platform I build that only extends an inch or two from the rim. So underneath the cone, it's just the body of the instrument, it's hollow. Sitting on the top is a little bridge device that then the strings go on to, and then the neck, uh, strings go on off up the neck. This cone, as I say, very thin piece of aluminium, when it's put into an instrument like this one, it's under tension, it's under compression rather. So that's pressing the strings, are going over this, it's pressing down into it, it acts like uh, the, uh, the cone on a loudspeaker. So the sound is generated at the top with the vibrating string, it goes down through the bridge, the cone then pumps very slightly very with the vibrations, the sound goes into the body and comes out through this series of holes that I've drilled around the side. Um, the sound also comes off the surface of the cone, so you get a double sort of whammy there. Um, the sound is quite distinctive, it's uh, based on a sort of resonator guitar. Simple, fairly good quality plywood back, stuck on the back. Mahogany neck again built up in three layers for the bottom here. Fairly simple tuners on the top. So this lower piece of timber goes in all the way across, anchors on the bottom end. This one has got an electro piezo pickup that's fitted under the cone um, and you can plug in there a lead and go to an amplifier. I really like these and I really like the tone they produce. You get different size cones to make different size instruments. Um, one we'll see later is made on a sort of guitar type body with a small cone 